What's up, y'all? It's the J. Roos Theory back at you. Thanks for tuning in. LSR forever, as I always say. Just here to talk more heavyweight boxing. Of course, I'm sure you heard Derek Chisora is supposed to fight Kubrat Pulev. Um, I'm hoping this is on free television because uh, I can't see too many people paying for this one. I mean, I'll watch it, but uh, I'm definitely going with Chisora on this one. Uh, Pulev, to me, I think his uh, career is done. You know, he was doing that triad combat sports where they fight in the triangle and stuff like that. I thought he was going to stick to that, but I guess he's coming back to boxing. But, you know, I think Chisora probably uh, hurt him and rough him up. I'm pretty sure that Pulev will outland him, but I think Chisora is definitely going to land the harder more, uh, harder, more telling punches. He'll probably stop Pulev probably, I'll say, late, maybe even the 12th round. Um... I wouldn't really be too surprised if Pulev wins, but I'm still going to go with Chisora. You know, I just like Derek Chisora. Um, but uh, it's not based off what I, who I like. It's based off who I think is going to win, and I say Chisora. Pulev recently was saying that um, Anthony Joshua was no big deal, and he blamed his, uh, his loss to Anthony Joshua on being sick, which I always hate to hear. I hate when fighters... Uh, after they lose, talk about I was sick. It's like, well, you should have kept that to yourself because now it sounds like an excuse. If you were really sick before the fight, you should have pulled out. Don't use it as an excuse after you get your head handed to you. Um, I think Joshua even got into it with them before their first fight where he was telling them, you know, be humble. Because he could tell Pulev had a big ego then, so, uh, <laughs> you know. People like Pulev are good for the sport, you know, because... Uh, you know, they're so demonstrative and stuff like that. But uh, I just don't see him being a factor as far as the top guys. You know, it's people like Daniel Dubois. And recently I heard uh, my friend, uh, Coach James Bashir talk about he wants his fighter, Vlad Sorenko, to step in there with Daniel Dubois. I believe he said he sparred with Dubois and... Uh, Joe Joyce and all those guys, and he said they take that fight now. So I'd like to see that. Keep your eyes out for Vlad Sorinko. He's got one of the best, not one of the best, I feel the best trainer in all of boxing. Not just the heavyweight division, but the best trainer in all of boxing. And I say that's James Ali Bashir. So uh, look out for his fighter, Vlad Sorinko, and I'd definitely like to see him step in there with uh, Daniel Dubois. Um, in fact, if Dubois doesn't get uh, Dillian White, I'd like to see them fight. Um, it would be real interesting. Um, I think I'm going to start a segment coming up in a week or two uh, called Burgers and Boxing, where I'll probably be eating some burgers and talking boxing. Um, just something I thought of, kind of creative. <laughs> but I believe AJ and... Usyk 2 is supposed to happen in August in Saudi Arabia. Um, I hear Usyk might have some weight loss. He's going through a lot of things, you know, with the Ukraine and Russian war and stuff like that. But I think he'll, I think it'll inspire him because he's a very tough-minded guy. I don't think that um, he'll come in the ring, you know, weak or anything because of what's happening. You know, I think he's going to feel empowered and have a point to prove. And uh, Joshua still, I don't believe, hired the right man for the job. He should have hired James Bashir. Why? Because James Bashir worked with Usyk for three years. He worked under Emmanuel Stewart or with Emmanuel Stewart, and he just he's just the best. He's a teacher, not just a trainer. And I don't know why AJ would hire Robert Garcia. Um I heard that Robert Garcia said something about AJ having a mental problem, too. Like, why would you talk like that about your fighter? Like, how's that going to give him confidence going in for his, the toughest fight he's ever had? A mental problem? You know, I didn't hear him say it, but I was watching um uh, my dude Ingram from BWTM Sports and Gaming, and that's what he said that, uh, that Robert Garcia said, so... If he said that, mm, not a good look. But I'm looking forward to all these fights. AJ and uh, Usyk 
might have some ring rust because they fought last September and it'll be almost a year if they fight in August. So we'll see what happens. The other day, um, going back to Daniel Dubois, I said I didn't think he'd stop Trevor Bryan as quick as he did, but I went back and watched my video and I predicted a fourth round knockout. So I was right. I guess just as the fight got closer, I kind of, I don't know, changed my mind a little bit. But I got it right, the fourth round. I also picked Fury, Dillian White. Um, I was just off by a round. I said Fury would knock him out in five uh, or six or whatever, knocked him out in five or whatever. I was just off by a round is what I'm trying to say. So I know heavyweight boxing. <laughs> and Anthony Joshua, you should have hired James Bashir as your trainer. It's not too late. So I just don't know. Uh, I don't know. There's a video I saw too, or I want to see, where I saw the headline said something about Garcia talking about Joshua smiling when he gets hit or something. Um, so I don't know about this choice. We'll see how well they mesh together. You know, if Joshua gets past Usyk, I'm sure he'll stick with Robert Garcia. If he doesn't, he might bring in James. I don't know. Anyway, it's the Jay Roos theory. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching LSR Forever. The reason I do this is be fearless. Yay, yay.